All right, guys, in this video, we're going to implement a course enrollment form. The form will have five fields, email, bio, course, which is a drop down, skill set, which is a checkbox group, and a course date field, which is a date picker. For the validations, we will make sure email is required and of the right format. The bio field is required course is required and course date is also required. Nothing fancy here. Let's go back to VS Code and implement this enrollment form with the forming controls we have implemented. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called enrollmentform.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Now, we can go about implementing the form one step at a time. Again, I will be going over the code at a relatively normal speed as we have already covered all the related concepts. For our first step, we begin by making all the necessary imports. Let me quickly copy paste them. So we have formic and form components, the yup library and the formic control component. Next, we declare two constants, which are basically the options for the course select dropdown and the skill set checkbox group. I'm going to copy paste both the options. So for the course dropdown, we have the first option as select your course, this value is an empty string. And we then have the three courses, React, Angular, and Vue, and their corresponding values. For the skill set checkbox group, we have three options, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and of course, their corresponding values. Next, we go about declaring the different props for the formic component. First, the initial values. And since this is repetitive, I'm going to copy paste the constant. So const initial values is going to be an object with five values. Email is going to be an empty string, bio is going to be an empty string, course is an empty string, and skills, because you can select one or more, the initial value is an empty array. Course date is a date value, and the initial value is null. Next, we have the validation schema. We have a few rules, so I'm going to go over this a bit slower. Const validation schema is equal to yuck.object, and then we specify the rules. Email is a straightforward one, so yup.string. We need this to be of the right format, so dot email with an error message invalid email format. And then it is also required with the error message required. The next field is the bio field, which is yup.string.required with the error message required. The next field is the course field. This is a dropdown, but again, a required validation is all we want. So yup.string.required, and the message is required. Finally, we have course date, which is a date field. And this is going to be yup.date.required with the message required, and it can also be null, so we specify dot nullable. That is our validation schema. The last prop is the on submit method, which I'm going to copy paste. So on submit, we get values, which we log to the console. Now that we have the props, our final step is to add the JSX. We are going to return the formic component and pass in the three props. So initial values is equal to initial values. Validation schema is equal to validation schema. And on submit is equal to on submit. We then have the render props pattern. So curly braces and function as children. The function receives formic props and we return the form component. Within the form component, we make use of our reusable formic component to render the different fields. Again, I'm going to copy paste each formic control block and then go over the code. 
The first one is the email form field. So control is going to be input, type is email, label is email and name is also email. The second form field is the bio field. The control is going to be text area. So this is slightly different from the input we've already been seeing. So control equals text area, label is equal to bio and name is equal to bio. Next, we have the course dropdown. So the control is going to be select because it's a select dropdown. Label is going to be course, name is course, and options is equal to the dropdown options we have defined earlier in this video. Next, we have the skill set form field. This is a checkbox group. So control is going to be equal to checkbox. Label is going to be equal to your skill set. Name is going to be skills and options is going to be checkbox options which we have already seen again earlier in this video. Finally, we have the date form field. Control is going to be equal to date. Label is going to be equal to course date and name again is course date. We're going to end this form with a submit button. So type is equal to submit and the button is disabled if the form is not valid. Let me format it, save the file Include it in app.js and let's test it out in the browser. On page load, we have the form with the five fields and the submit button. Email is an input field, bio is a text area, course is a select dropdown, we have skill set which is a checkbox group, and of course course date which is a date picker. Click on submit and all the validation rules work as expected. If I fill in the details and click on submit, the form field values are logged in the console. Our enrollment form works as expected. With that, we come to the end of some of the examples that I wanted to cover. There is one last topic left in the series, which is incorporating a UI library into our form controls. Let's take a look at that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.